so now we will see if and else conditional statements in javascript so guys basically very often when you write code you want to perform different actions for different decisions based on the data that you already have in your javascript code so guys basically you can use the conditional statements in your code in order to do this so in short based on certain conditions you can execute certain different line of code that you want to define in your javascript code so guys basically in javascript we have the following conditional statements that is first of all we will use the if statement in order to specify a block of code to be executed if a specified condition is true so guys after this if keyword we provide certain condition inside the parenthesis and if that condition is true then the block of code after this particular if statement will be executed and if it is false then we use the else keyword in order to specify the block of code to be executed if the same condition is false over here apart from this we also use the else if in order to specify a new condition to test if the first condition is false over here so guys let us check this with the help of examples in vs code over here i'll simply remove the previous lines of code that we had written so what we will do is we will define two variables over here so first of all we have the variable a it is equal to 10 and then we have another variable that is b in this case which is equal to 15 over here now guys what we will do is we will compare both these variables by using the if condition and we will see if variable a is it less than variable b so guys over here we use the if keyword in this case followed by open and close parenthesis inside which we have to provide the condition so over here let us say we provide a is it less than b over here so guys basically this is the expression which will return either true or false and then after this we have open and close curly braces and simply inside this we are going to provide the console.log statement and then we will say a is less than b in this case so guys basically if a is less than b if this particular expression is true then the control flow will go inside this block of code that we have defined and then this log statement will be executed in which we are printing a is less than b over here now guys let's say if this particular condition is not true so what we have to do is after this curly braces we have to provide the else keyword over here and then we will have another block of code in which case we will print another statement that is a is not less than b over here so guys basically this is the statement that will be printed and this is the very basic syntax as far as the if else conditional statement in javascript is concerned so guys let me just save this file now and let us see what will be the output over here so we run the test.js file in this case as you can see a is less than b that's because the value of a is 10 and the value of b is 15 so 10 is less than 15 over here so basically the control flow is going inside this particular block of code over here and this is the way that the if and else condition will work now guys let us say this this particular condition is false and we want the control flow to go inside this else block over here so what we have to do is we have to make the value of a that is greater than b over here so that is a less than b no in this case so since this condition is false the control flow will not go inside this block of code so basically the next block of code that is inside the else part will be executed this time so let me just save this file now and try running this code once again over here as you can see a is not less than b is getting printed over here and that is what we had defined under the else part in this case now guys apart from this we can also use the else if condition over here so let us say you also want to check whether a is equal to b so what if we provide the value of a it is equal to 15 so this time a is not less than b but a is also not greater than b over here but it is equal to b but what output we will get over here when we run this code so let us check that as well so when we save this file now and try running this code once again as you can see a is not less than b is getting printed over here why so because we have not provided the condition where a is equal to b this time so is a less than b no in this case so the code is not checking anything else and that is why we are getting this particular statement getting printed on the terminal over here but we also want to provide another statement over here either we can provide a is equal to b under the else if part in this case so basically we provide the statement in between the if and else statement over here so we provide provide else followed by the space character and then we have the if keyword over here and again we have to provide another condition so just like how we have provided the condition for the if keyword over here we also have to provide the condition for the else if in this case so simply we will check whether a is equal to b or not so basically we are using the two times equal to operator in order to check whether both the numbers are equal and then after this inside the curly braces we will say console.log over here and then inside 
declare this we will say a is equal to b so guys basically we have this statement that is a is equal to b over here so simply what the control flow will do is first of all it will check whether a is less than b no in this case so the control flow will go to the next else if part over here and then it will check whether a is equal to b yes in this case and then this particular statement will be printed which is a is equal to b so guys once this particular statement is printed it will come out of the entire if else statement over here and the else statement this time will not get executed so guys let me just save this file now and try running this code once again over here as you can see a is equal to b this time so guys it is important to note the flow of the interpreter over here first of all the control flow will go inside the if statement over here that is the first if statement if the condition is true then the statement inside this block of code will be executed if not then the control flow will come over here and check the statement once again and if true then this particular statement will be executed and if it is not true then the control flow will come to the else part and then this statement will be executed finally now guys if the statement is executed for this else if part over here the interpreter will not come to this else part that's because only one of these particular statements should be printed on the terminal and that is how the if else conditions will work so guys let us test all these conditions once again so let us say we provide the value of 14 to the a variable let me just save this file now so basically a is less than b over here and the same thing we are getting a is less than b now guys let us say we have both the numbers equal so we have 15 is equal to 15 so this time a is equal to b is getting printed and let's say a is greater than b over here so simply we will provide another number that is 18 in this case so 18 is greater than 15 so this time a is not less than b should get printed over here so as you can see a is not less than b so guys in this way you can simply use the if and else conditional statements in order to execute the code based on the requirement so guys comment in the comment section below whether you have learned something out of this video please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to the channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well i'll see you in the next video in which we are going to make use of the switch statement in javascript so stay tuned